Hey there, this is Jason and I'm in front of one of my citrus trees that I just noticed is starting to develop a pretty bad case of sooty mold, black sooty mold. You can see here on the leaves, that telltale sign. I'm also seeing that a lot of the fruit is starting to drop and I'm even getting some dieback on some of the branches. Uh, this happens, it seems like once a year, one or two of my citrus trees gets attacked really, really hard and the culprit is always Argentine ants, every single time. Even though sooty mold grows on the uh, honeydew that's secreted by insects like aphids, it's the ants that farm the aphids that are actually causing the problem. And so if I get rid of the ants, all of these other issues resolve themselves. So uh, just a year or two ago, my Valencia orange tree over here looked exactly the same. It had a lot of sooty mold, it had a lot of dieback, it was in really rough shape. And I went ahead and I applied a product called Tanglefoot to the trunk. And I actually just went ahead and did that right now with this tree. And I'm going to show you what's happening and uh, what the ants are doing now that there is a block on the trunk. Uh, Tanglefoot is a product that I just can pick up locally here at my uh, local nursery here in San Diego. That's uh, Walter Anderson. And for me, I tried using that cardboard material that you can wrap around the tree. But uh, painter's tape is actually the method that I prefer at this point because uh, it's just easier to work with. So I take the painter's tape and I wrap it around the tree backwards so that the sticky side is facing out. The sticky side overlaps itself on a few turns and it provides um, a, a somewhat consistent barrier around the trunk. And then I apply Tanglefoot to the tape. Tanglefoot will scar the trunk and uh, it's very unpleasant looking and I can't imagine what it's doing to the health of the tree. So I go ahead and I have always apply it to something like tape or cardboard. Um, and you can see if I get here close, you can see some of the ants. My camera wants to pick up on my chicken. Um, you can see the ants are blocked. And in fact, some of them have tried to bridge the gap and they're stuck. This will block any upward movement and any ants that are on the tree uh, won't have a way of getting down. So there's a lot of ant activity right here. You can see the ants are trying to figure out what's going on because this was like a like a cash crop for them and now suddenly it's blocked off. Uh, one issue that I have here, this isn't an issue for everybody, but these little chickens they like to peck and scratch and in the process of doing so sometimes they kick up dirt and sticks and other mulch and sometimes that gets caught on the tanglefoot. So I always have to try and raise up the tanglefoot tape as high as I can. If I bring it down lower here it'll get covered by my chickens inevitably uh, it's almost overnight. Uh, so I try and bring it up as high as possible, and, but even this will need to get replaced maybe a month from now. Another thing you want to make sure when you're using this product or a similar product, you don't want to have any other access points. So if your plant is staked, um, if there's another plant nearby that's touching it, these are all bridges that the ants can use to get to the most desired plant. Right here you can see I have a Satsuma orange, and then I have, this is actually a page orange. It's um, one of my favorites and I'm kind of bummed to see it in such bad condition. Uh, you can see that I might do a little bit of pruning just to make sure none of those leaves touch. But if you're experiencing a similar issue, you may think, well, I need to treat the sooty mold. But there's an underlying factor that is actually uh, causing that sooty mold or causing that scale or causing those other issues. And here in Southern California, those issues, for me at least, in my experience, always tend to be ants control your ant population and so many other issues like fungus and uh and invasive insects uh will resolve themselves if you're using tanglefoot or a similar product and you find it successful let me know in the comments section if you have another method that you think is helpful that you want to share go ahead leave me a comment in the comments section i'd love to chat with you about keeping our trees nice and healthy